Yeah, boys, got the Harns Warrior here. I've uh, I've had this one for months, and I I decided heck with it. I'm I'm gonna put it on my camera. I, I had sent it to my buddy Rolf for testing, and if you see the batch 28 uh, video I published for testing results. Then you'll see that uh, this one did test as real D2. And uh, there's a poke on it somewhere oh, right there. Uh, it's 60.3 HRC, which ain't too shabby. So real D2, 60.3 H, you know, HRC, Rockwell, and nice. Uh, actually, it's hard to tell that it doesn't have bearings I don't think it has bearings. I think it's got bronze washers. Such a heavy dog. It's got this kind of gray finish on the blade. Green G10. Pretty grippy here. Uh, fit and finish looks pretty good. Actually, these Harns knives have been surprising for no more than they cost. I paid like 27 28 bucks for this knife. D2, reasonable HRC, um, you know, I didn't get hurt, and price per pound is great. Eh, I, I, you know, I like to call it a four-inch blade. They don't call it that. They call it like 3.75 or something like that, but uh, 100 millimeters, and we've got 23 centimeters, 23 and a half, really, centimeters overall keep that yeah right there all the way in nine and a quarter inches overall length uh it's, yeah it's a big knife it's a big knife uh 3.75 millimeter blade stock 0 0.146 0 0.58 of an inch thickness on the handle at 14.8 millimeters so it's a good size knife uh it feels good in the hand it's pretty neutral in here as far as ergos go so you can you can make pretty good contact with it and you have a big choil up here so you can pull forward a bit as well well let's see if it'll cut something oh okay yeah uh, yeah, that's pretty daggone sharp right out of the old box. Ooh. Yeah, nice. We have jimping up here, kind of a thumb ramp thing, and then jimping up here as well. I guess if you're going to go forward there, you got to watch it a little bit. But comes up to a point here that's pretty, pretty heavy duty. This whole thing is pretty heavy duty. You've got jimping along the bottom here and along the back and some on the back spacer. So there's a lot of contact patch going on there. See the pocket clip? It's not a deep carry, but you got three screws holding it in place. Right hand only and a tubed lanyard hole right there. Goes through the backspacer. Uh, looks like they skeletonized the liner, at least on the top. We'll check that out. Let's see about... Well, I mean, blade to handle length, I think you did pretty good with. You know, couldn't have done much better. The design flows nicely. That looks good. Got a little landing zone here with these little cutaway areas. Jimping on the flipper tab. Flipper tabs, pretty good size, but not, not way oversized considering the size of the knife. It's just a big, huge brute. And let me, let me give you a little idea of what you got here uh, for size. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah. Well, that was, what, 40 millimeters? Let me see. Yeah. So 40 millimeters, yeah, 1.6 inches. Actually, that's about what a paramilitary two is, top to bottom there. So, of course, that doesn't count the flipper tab. 
but yeah it's fairly thick here and it does fill your hand up this is not a small gent carry but this is something that you could really use i believe your lockup's pretty substantial here that's 40 percent if it's anything and the liners are fairly thick as well so that's nice and check this out it comes in a box see here they're saying 3.78 inch blade yeah it's probably that for cutting edge actually and then you get a sheath in here too so and that sheath is nice get a little bit of paperwork i don't i guess i never read this stuff uh but there you go paperwork i think they do a good job making these especially for no more than they charge check out the uh pouch that's that's pretty nice uh you got this little snap here come on pull off with velcro okay so you can put that your belt through that or put that on a pack something like that but i'm pushing on this see it doesn't collapse it's not like some pouches it's got its own structure here and it's it's pretty good so uh if you wanted to do that go that way you could do that as well uh i rarely ever use a belt pouch especially if you got a pocket clip pocket clips that's long enough it's definitely big enough they've announced themselves and you know got a lot of big writing on the blade but yeah i think i'd complain if this was a 300 hundred dollar knife but i'm not gonna do i you know i don't really care i'm not a a person that's real easily bothered by billboarding regardless so that's not a big deal for me let's check the weight and we got 6.8 ounces it's not light it's just not 193 grams so can i carry something like this oh yeah and i have yes i have and i've carried heavier than this and i've definitely carried bigger than this so okay yeah i can do that well let's pull it apart see what we got here and see if we can pull it apart and if so what's it gonna tell us and here we go there we got that and then we got the pocket clip and we've got some screws on this so let's take the body screw out here and uh, okay we got that pretty much freed up let's see but what we probably need at least this off of the clip and uh let's just take all the clip screws out okay there's a pocket clip all the screws right there and yeah there we go then our scale comes off not a problem right there now we've got a liner check it out d-shaped pivot of course on the other side there's no access here so you kind of got to come in from that back side and they made it easy to do so so that's a good deal that's a good deal um of course we're going to take the blade stop out with us and we're down here on so we're going to have to kind of give ourselves a little okay yeah just you know pressed on there a little bit makes a lot of contact so you, you kind of gotta woggle it back and forth a little bit to get that off but not a big deal here's your bronze washer and it's not paper thin you know so it's it's respectable throw that on the ground check this out take it off on the other side there's your bronze washer on the other side and here's your d-shaped pivots all one piece deal which is great love that 
course, that's also going to help center the logo on the back side. You got a, you know, squared off area right there. So you know how that pivot goes in just like that. That's the only way it can go through. And they skeletonized these liners pretty good, didn't they? Even, you know, on the lock bar side. Check that out. Hmm. Just a regular, not a ceramic for a detent ball, but we're good. We're good. Yeah, I kind of figured it was washers, but it, it has really great action for one that has washers. You'd almost mistake it for bearings. Yeah, I like it. Tug with it. I'm not going to throw any more lube on this thing. They're washers. They'll be fine. And there we go. Back on. Just like so. Put the scale on. Right there, the screw, and let's take our number eight and reinstall this. And we need number six for this. Pocket clip is last, and we can just set these things right down in the holes they came out of. It'd be easy to reinstall the clip, just like that. That. And that. So what do you think? Yeah, nice, nice action, actually. Pretty good. Got it apart, got it back together, easy breezy, pretty well put together. Uh, feels good in the hand. Uh, yeah, there's your balance point. It's pretty well balanced. It's just a uh, pretty nice knife, actually. I didn't expect it to be this good when i ordered it i thought oh god here we go down kind of trashy mall ninja gas station row but no actually no this is this is solid and you know i'm going on kind of a harns binge lately i mean i got the wolverine which is really nice contoured g10 and of course it's not d2 it's 14c 28 and the sandvik steel and then of course the Assassin, which I love because it's such a long knife, but it's thin and fairly light. And now they put pocket clips on them, which are deep carry. Check that out. And, of course, it's Sandvik steel as well. So uh, that's that's pretty big dog right there. But very slender and a lot, lot lighter. So take a look at them. You can get them on White Mountain Knives. I know you can get them on uh, Amazon, but... White Mountain, at least you can get a 10% discount. You're not having to pay sales tax, and shipping is free. So if you add up all those factors when you buy a knife on Amazon and look and see if you can get on White Mountain or something like that, be careful because by the time you get, I mean, I've been caught too. By the time I get done paying sales tax and then shipping, all right, uh, then you might as well have bought it somewhere else. Take care. Thanks a lot. You know what we do. We love them nice. So you guys stay sharp.